Warmer weather means getting outside more, and that means putting yourself at risk for Lyme disease. Here with more on preventing and diagnosing and treating Lyme disease is Dr. Andre Garbedian from the Garbedian Clinic and Horthoff Medical Group. Dr. G, always a pleasure. Nice, nice to see you, my friend. You. Let's talk about the symptoms of Lyme disease first. What are they? Uh, could be very variable, actually. Okay. Lyme disease... It could be just a flu-like symptoms, it could be headaches associated with tingling, numbness, it could be joint pains, fever. Hmm. Uh, sometimes there is a rash which some people call bullseye rash. They refer to it as a bullseye rash. Is that from a tick bite? It usually is from a tick bite or a bite and that expands in a bullseye shape and could grow a lot. But it's not always present, so sometimes people don't see the rash and they think that that's not Lyme disease. Interesting. The problem is that as it progresses, neurologic symptoms start to happen. Mm -hmm. Now you have more tingling, more numbness. You could have issues with actually paralysis, facial paralysis. Mm. You have sometimes uh, neuropathies associated with shooting pains in the legs, in the arms. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be very complex. And you say it's complex, it's, it's tough diagnosing this, isn't it, for, for doctors, or is it? Well, it is. It is very, because most of these, uh, you know, patients will come to their doctors with minimal symptoms, uh -huh. uh, general symptoms, things like maybe they had a cold or a virus or something of the likes, and the doctor is not impressed by the symptoms so much, and he will tell them, you have a cold, go ahead and, you know, take some measures for it, and you'll be okay. The problem is it persists, and when they come back again and again, and since Lyme does not come to the mind of the treating doctor easily, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they will end up being told that there is nothing there and they may be a bit overwhelmed or depressed or something like that, huh. which will upset these people because sure. they really have symptoms. So what do you do? Take, do you have a, a blood test? Do you get a blood test for it? Well, absolutely. The, the unfortunate part of the blood test and the test is that it is what the doctors usually do is a CDC protocol. It's a, a, a from the Center of Disease Control protocol. They have parameters of testing, and if you fit within that parameter, mm -hmm. then you could be diagnosed as positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, that test was not designed for diagnosis as much as for studies and follow-ups. It's I not uh, for for diagnosis purposes. Eighty-five percent of the people who get the test are negative. Wow. All right. Say you're positive. How do you treat it? Well, treating Lyme is very, very complex. As I mentioned uh -huh. sometime earlier, the Lyme is like a chameleon. It comes in many shapes and forms. Mm. The most common form is the standard cellular form, wall cell wall form. But then it comes sometimes in a cystic form, which is very hard to penetrate. Mm. It comes sometimes in a form that is non-wall cellular wall at all. L form, which is as if it's not a bacteria that the body does not recognize. Mm. The problem is every form of Lyme has certain antibiotics that are good in that mm. form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know which form you're treating, you are now in the, uh, in the position where you have to treat with multiple antibiotics that cover all these forms to have an adequate control, which wow. is not the recommended treatment usually mm -hmm. for it. Thus, uh, all these people are undertreated which makes them become chronic Lyme patients. Wow. If not treated, if we're just out of time, if not treated, what can happen? Well, if not treated, they progress into the neurological part of it, and major symptoms of arthritis and generalized bone and disease, mm -hmm. arthritis problems, neurological problems, emotional problems uh, uh, that are very, very common, disease issues with, associated with headaches, sleep dysfunction, all those things, and now it becomes a very complex disease. And it's coming, kicking in now because the warmer weather is about to start. Doctor, thank you so much. It is a pleasure being here. We appreciate you so much. For more on Lyme disease and Dr. Garabedian, just go to cbsphilly.com and click on Talk Philly. Thanks again. We'll be right back.